Hello students, welcome to the IIT JAM Mathematical Statistics Solution. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve this question number 38, which was asked in that, which is related to that. You can see there is some IID and some distributions are there and there are some options for you. Now, since this is question number 38, which is asked that and it belongs to the section B. So, and if you, if you get a correct answer, you will get a two marks here. So you can see the question number 31 to 40 all have their multiple select question. What is the meaning of that? That means it may have more than one correct option. So that's a very, very simple questions are there. You will get a two marks uh, of this question in a very simple manner. I will give you a one minute video, which will help you how you can solve this within a one minute. Myself, Dr. Gar, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos of the previous year question papers are there. Now, what is the logic behind this question are there? How you can solve such kind of the problems in your examinations are there? So first of all, you have to think about that what you want to find. So you have to find the convergence. And since convergence is related to the normal distribution, that is n approaches infinity. Whenever there is a n approaches infinity, I already tell you so many times that we will work on the center limit theorem. So remember that we in this question we will work on the center limit theorem. What is the meaning of the center limit theorem is that is we our target is to convert into the z x minus mu by sigma that's our target is that. Now if you look about this what is given to you this is the IID and our target is to find z corresponding to this that is Sn Xn bar which are defined like here. Now how you can define that how you can define this uh, center limit theorem for these options for you. So you can see what is that. So you have to find firstly the mean of this Sn. You have to find the variance of this Sn. Also for this Xn bar, you have to find the mean of this Xn bar, variance of this Xn bar. That's the basic targets are there. Now how you can find the mean of this? This is nothing but the mean of the Xi's. Xi's are given to you IID. So what is the meaning of the IID's are there? That is the each of their means are same. So if you are able to find the mean of the x1, they are the same are there. Now how you can find the mean of this? The one way is that you can simply x into f of x. This is way you can do that 1 to infinity and after that you will get the required answer. But since this is the MCQ, so you have to instead of the calculation, you have to remember the concept. Do you remember that which distribution is there? If you remember that which probability distribution is there, that is exponential distribution. And you remember that what is the mean of the exponential distribution is 1 upon lambda. And what is the variance of this exponential distribution is? This is nothing but my 1 by lambda square. But remember that in the, in the exponential distribution, your target is x is greater than 0. But here is half. So what is that? You have to add this scale quantity that is of here. That is the meaning of this. Uh, uh, that's the meaning of this. Or you can see there is no need of writing here whatever whatever the mean this is nothing but the mean of scale now if you think about this what is the what is the exponential distribution mean that what is the parameter here if you compare them with here what is the lambda is my 2 so if you substitute the value here what is the mean of this x i what is the mean of the x i is half plus half that is my 1 so once it is a 1, then what is the mean of the Sn? This has a mean 1, 1, 1, 1 and so on. That's a mean is 1 plus 1 plus and so on. What is the mean of this is n. Once you will get the mean as a 1, then the variance will be mean square. Nothing but my variance of this xi is also my 1. So what is the variance of this is? Uh, that is the variance of x1 plus variance of x2. Again, this is 1 plus 1 plus n. So therefore, what you could conclude Sn minus the mean of the Sn divided by the square root of the variance. So which thing is belongs that this is there. So it means this will converge to the zero having the finite variance. So this is the right answer. So this option is cancel out. Same thing we can look about this. So our target is to find the mean of the Xn bar. So what is the Xn bar is there? This is Sn upon n. So our target is to find the mean of this. So what is that? This is one by n. What is the mean of the Sn? n that is a 1 so it means this and this both options are maybe correct so the mean of here now what is the variance of this xn bar is this is nothing but my 1 by n square what is the variance of the sn is this is my 1 plus 1 plus 1 is n so this is here so that is 1 by n so what is the answer of this that is 
एक्स एन बार माइनस मीन अपॉन स्केर रूट ऑफ दिस सो यू कैन सी दिस टू विल नॉट बी अपियर हेयर सो दिस ऑप्शन इज कैंसल सो दिस ऑप्शन इज द राइट आंसर सो वट इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस दैट इज द ए एंड सी सो यू कैन सी दैट इज अ वेरी सिंपल ट्विक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू कैन इजली गेट द टू मार्क्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो दिस इज अ वन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव डिस्कस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन द सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्यूरम आई रिकमेंडेड यू यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ऑन द एम सी क्यू ऑन द सेंट्रल लिमिट where you have to uh, learn how you can solve this 20 questions with them shortcut tricks are there so remember that the video of this is within a 1 minute you can solve each of the questions in our next class we will see how you can solve this uh, iit jam 2020 mathematical statistics questions are this these questions we will discuss in the next videos till then you can simply follow this link for finding the more videos best of luck students